Glenn, that 25-year-old defendant was arrested yesterday in Oceanside. He allegedly cyberstalked several women in California over the past few years. Repeated stalking, harassment, and demands for nude and sexually explicit photos and videos. That's what's outlined in this criminal complaint. Startling allegations involving 25-year-old Jehoa Miguel Shavari, who also goes by the name of Michael Frito, an active-duty member of the U.S. Marine Corps who federal prosecutors allege from 2019 to 2021 used an online persona and numerous online accounts to target women who refused to cave to his sexual demands. What authorities describe as a sextortion campaign. KTLA legal expert Allison Treisel has represented victims of sextortion in the past. She commented on the serious nature of these allegations. Cyber stalking is as serious as a criminal allegation as you can imagine. And in many ways, it's almost more serious than actual stalking because not only does that person who's being stalked live with fear, but the attacker goes after relatives and friends and threatens their jobs and threatens their personal relationships and says, I'm going to ruin your life. According to the criminal complaint, Shavari's extortionate threats and demands of the victims generally followed a pattern with requests for sexual photos or videos of themselves or of their feet. He allegedly threatened to publish sexual images of these victims online or on popular porn sites, even to their friends, family members, or employers if they refused to comply. There are over 3.5 million people a year who claim that they have been cyber stalked. Thankfully, the law is finally catching up with technology. And so this guy is looking at five years in prison for what he has done. Many offenders believe that they can get away with it because it's done online and it's faceless. But the law is finally saying, no, this is real and you're going to be prosecuted. And we reached out to Camp Pendleton for comment on Shivari's arrest, but they have not yet responded. That's the latest in downtown Los Angeles. Kareem Winter, KTLA 5 News.